Hi and welcome back to my channel. In today's video you have part one of my December unboxings. Part one is probably going to include not only the things that normally come at the beginning of the month but also the things that normally come at the end of the month because my November Lumicrate is delayed and Fairy Loot hasn't arrived yet. I've gotten the notice that it's shipping but it still says label created so my guess is for some reason it's stuck in customs. So who knows when I am going to get that. Putting that aside, I have two things to unbox in this portion of the video and I'm going to start with my comics subscription. So I've already opened the top to take it out. So it comes in two layers and with this one I normally see ahead of time what it's going to be but I completely missed what it was going to be. This is super cool. They've got a postcard on here that's old school comics. That is so cool. I really like that. Now. Actually, they gave us three of them. The art looks, flipping through it, looks really intriguing. It's not my normal art style, but I'm willing to give it a chance. So this book looks more like a YA graphic novel style. So I'm intrigued to get to this. It is Thieves by Lucy Byron. The other box that I have is Book of the Month. So interestingly enough, none of the books in here are the December books. None of them interested me and it was mainly romance and thriller and then they had Babel well, like a throwback pick I'm like no book of the month you're just wanting to jump on the bandwagon. Anyway one of the books in here I'm intrigued because at the time of me selecting my books I had not read another book by this author but now I have and that is right on top. That is Ariadne by Jennifer Saint. Again, this is a Greek retelling. I have just read Electra, So this is a throwback to 2021. And I wonder if under the cover it will say the month. Yes, this is a, I don't know if you can see it, it's a May 2021 book of the month pick. And I actually know more about the Ariadne myth because of work that I did when I taught ELA, one of the myth retellings featured Ariadne that we used. Obviously this is going to be a completely different read. Then we got one that I'm really intrigued with and I believe is on the historical fiction long list or short list. I'm not sure if it made it to the short list uh, for historical fiction this year and that is Take My Hand by Dolan Perkins Valdez. This is set in the 70s I believe. Okay so this is set in 1973 and she is a doctor, I believe, a recently minted doctor. Oh no, she's a nurse. So she's fresh out of nursing school and she goes to a family planning clinic in Alabama in 1973. And I've heard really good things about this, so I'm really excited about this one. And the other one is the one that I wish I could finally get off the list for the Fairy Loot adult subscription because this book was absolutely gorgeous and it came through with the way they did the sprayed edges and everything and that is Spells for Forgetting by Adrienne Young. I have read so many Adrienne Young books and loved them. Even the ones that I didn't necessarily love by her like Saint that I read earlier as an arc and the sequel to I can't remember which one. Uh, those were still I enjoyed my reads. I enjoyed her writing and so I wanted to try her adult debut and in this one I believe it's more urban fantasy than all of her others have been. Yes, so this was just an add-on because you'll see it just says fantasy reads and it doesn't say a month in there. So the Ariane one is the furthest one back that I have gone. I have a thing for books so I probably will be getting three each time but in Spells for Forgetting the main character's sister was murdered I believe and the man who was convicted of it I think was her boyfriend? No her her best friend was found dead and the love of her life is how it says here was a main suspect but he was never convicted of it. But now he has come back into town. She I think there's a little bit of like witchy vibes to it so it's very much more urban than all of her other stuff so I'm really excited about that. I now kind of run to read all of them and I had no idea when I put them in there how color coordinated they would be. 
So I will be back, who knows when for me, but in a couple seconds for you. Okay, so we have the next of my December unboxings. It looks like I really need to get on with reading lots of books and earning lots of tokens because I'm getting a lot of books before I go to the Strand. So the next one that I have is TBR, Tailored Book Recommendations. And yes, I did cover up my address. I have been waiting for this for so long. So these books had better be good. I got super excited about it because they sent out the, your recommendations are coming and I got the charge November 8th. Took them a while. So got some packaging on top. Oh no. I have two repeats. <sighs> I have The Drowned Woods, which is like the third time that I've gotten this book. This is the original cover. I got it through Owl Crate, gave that one up. I haven't read it yet. I have the other version. I like this color better. And then I hope I like this book because I have the Goldsboro version of The Final Strife. That's kind of annoying. I don't think I'll use tokens for these. I'll just kind of, I'll probably, I'll set them to the side. And if I really like the books, I'll keep both copies or I will put them in my classroom library. The other one I know is not one that I have read before. Okay. This, this is very interesting. This is not fiction. This is, well, well this is interesting. They've got this thing on the top. It is called Rise, uh, a pop history of Asian America from the 90s to now. This looks really cool. I don't know that I would keep this necessarily. This is a weird kind of dust jacket, but I really like this. Is it worth the overall price and me waiting so long? I'm not really sure, but oh, look, there's graphic novel in here. Wow, this looks really cool. Okay. So let me look at the beginning because this was published this year. So it's got before, then it's got 1990s, 2000s, 2010s, and beyond. Is the whole thing, no, the whole thing isn't graphic, but that's like the first thing. It looks like there's, so it does have like timelines and like regular-ish text, but it looks like the graphic novels portions, the graphic portions are interspersed throughout. Maybe it's sort of uh, interludes. Oh, this is, that's super cool. I really like that take on it. Okay, so this is really good. And honestly, knowing me, I'm really interested in these, but I already have the books. So that is a real bummer. It might be that I request another set of drop-in recommendations and I don't know how to keep this sort of thing from happening again. I might ask about it because like I already have these books. So I was really looking forward to it and now I'm kind of bummed. Okay, so we finally got the November Fairy Loot. Okay, I'm gonna open that up. I've already cut all the tape and everything. So, ooh, okay. So the first thing is a pin, a grimoire pin. I love pins. This is super cool. I'm pretty sure this is from Sorcery of Thorns, which I love and I need to read more Margaret Rogerson's books. This is interesting. I haven't read this yet. It's next on the list. This is a Kingdom of the Wicked mug and the thing about coffee mugs and subscription boxes for me is they're never big enough i always need something bigger but i'm gonna pause for just a second because i need to change the battery okay so as i was saying the mugs themselves are never big enough and i never use any of these mugs to actually drink coffee out of because they're just not big enough this one i like the size of it it's a little bigger definitely not big enough for my uses. Oh, it is gorgeous. This is really pretty. I hope when I finally read Kingdom of the Wicked that I enjoy it <laughs> because it's a very pretty mug. Okay. Next we have a cloth bag of some sort with a tag on it. Should have brought my scissors over. I think Fairy Loot's the one that's been doing the replica daggers. Yes. 
Okay, so we have a replica dagger. I have no idea what this is from. It reminds me of artwork for or the um, Shelby Mahurin series. I'm remembering the names of the second and the third in the series from Blood and Honey and Blood and Honey and Gods and Monsters, but I can't remember the first one. That's what it looks like it's from. I am going to, so the others, I'm pretty sure what they're from. So I'll get back to this. And this is the Phantom Neutral item. And ooh, this is pretty. I think this might be a reading journal. If it, yes, it is. That's very, it's much more of a scripty font, but on each one it has title, author, pages, I think. Again, it's a very cursive scripty font. Uh, let's see. Dates read, release date, rating, describe this book in three words, page count. I do like that there's a significant chunk for the part to write your review. I'm trying to get better at my reviews, my written reviews. This is definitely, it's a reading journal. It's just, a, it's more like a reading log and it does, this is really cool. It does have a little ribbon thing in there to keep your place as you go through. And it also has a ribbon bookmark. I'm not sure why you would have both, but I guess you can use that to close it and this to mark your spot. I like that. I am getting a collection of these reading journals to try out and use. So it's not a bad thing that I missed out on Little Inklings designs restock because I wasn't following them. So those are the items. I'm going to reach in and find the spoiler cards so I can see those other fandoms. Oh, and also to get the tarot cards. These are the tarot cards. Oh, pretty sure this is Stardust Thief because I think that's one of the books that they did. I really like the artwork on here. So we have the tower and the star. So I'll see if I'm correct about what I thought all of these were. Foiled Mug we knew was from King of the Wicked. The book review notebook. I do like that. I like that style. Cottage witchy style, which we hope you love. Letter opener, Serpent and Dove. Serpent and Dove. I was right, but I just couldn't remember the first. It was a decent read. Was it my favorite? No. Did the third book really let me down? Yes, but I enjoyed my reads. I read them last year for my Goodreads Choice Award list because the third one, Gods and Monsters, was on the nominees. I thought so. So I was right about that one. And then the other one was the Grimoire. Interesting. So it just says it's a spell book pin, so it's not inspired by any particular thing, but I'm going to assume that it is inspired by Sorcery of Thorns, which I really love. So here is the artwork. Okay. Right. Intriguing. I forgot what the theme was. The Oh, the witching hour. Okay. And got the book in the bag here. So I'm going to see, I can already see some spray pages. I'm going to reach in and get the little extras that are in here. We have the bookmark with that same artwork that's on the spoiler card. We have the fairy scoop, which gives an interview with the author and also gives the next month's theme, which is come one, come all. Oh, this is interesting. Okay. Oh no, this is Dece this is December. I was thinking January because that's just on January on social media. In this box, you can expect two items inspired by Caraval and the Night Circus. I need to read Caraval because I have enjoyed her series, which is, which features characters from Caraval. Oh, there it will have the next foiled bookmarks. It will also have fandom neutral bookends and a book sleeve. Interesting. Okay, so it's probably going to be circus themed because those are both of those. And now we come to the book. Oh no, there's one more thing in here. Oh, interesting. Okay, so this is the author letter. I find it interesting how different the color choices on these two bits of artwork are because this seems like a very different person, but I'm guessing it's supposed to be the same person. And so, all right, I believe this is the front. We've got some lovely orange sprayed edges here. This is just this. This is a big book that they've done. All right, so we have The Ones We Burn by Rebecca Mix. I know nothing about it, but let's take a look. Oh, oh, look at that ombre, the orange and the green. I like that color palette. Green down here. 
So this is I am the monster, I am the shield, I am the knife in the dark. I really like the cover design. Okay, so we have a signed book plate and then gorgeous end pages here. And they are unique end pages on both sides. And I'm pretty sure this is one of their painted on ones. Oh no, it's, fo it's the foiled. Okay. We've got gorgeous, oh my word. I love foiling so much. And this foiling appears to match this design, which makes a lot of sense. I really like that. And, oh, okay. So we have this original cover, but we also, and I really like the fact that on these reversible dust jackets, they are putting the title so that you could turn it around. And I like this black and white vibe here. Okay, so let's get this back on. Let's read about it. Again, I'm definitely always going to keep the Fairy Loot book box subscription. Okay, I realize why there's a difference in there. I should have realized that. Oh, there's two characters here. These end pages, the art on these end pages is stunning. Okay, there are two characters. So let me read more about it. I'll just read it out loud. Ranka is tired of death. Now she just wants to be left alone, living out her days in the wild north with the coven that failed her. So it's a witchy story. There is a prince. Oh, she is told to, that's the thing, I need my glasses and there's not quite enough light because it gets dark so early. Now I know why they did Serpent and Dove for it because she's a witch and she's named as the next something. I can't read that part. And she has one directive, kill the prince, but the prince is gentle, kind, and terrified of her. Interesting. Oh, but witches start turn up, turning up dead. So there's multiple people in here. I don't know who all the characters are. That was probably a terrible sub description, but and I don't know how much I'll count cut out, but I'm really excited about this. Okay, so I'm gonna pop on real quick to film an outro because I thought perhaps I would get another box in December to include in the first part of my December unboxings. While there are still a few more days before I head to New York, I am going to be super busy this week with a lot of other prep stuff. So I am going to go ahead and wrap up the unboxings here and include just the ones that I have had so far this month. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one.